Hello everyone, welcome to 3dDesignAcademy.com. In this lesson, we will continue with part three of constructing the car project. Okay, so in the previous lesson, we set up the wheel flat for the front wheel. We're gonna be doing the same thing for the rear. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try Uh, actually, before we continue, let me just hide these. So I'm just gonna delete the construction history on this wheel flat because I don't need it anymore. And I'm just gonna uh, hide the curves on the wheel flat layer. And I'm just gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to bring some of the ingredients for the rear wheel. So I'm gonna copy this, I'm gonna, so I actually, instead of copying, I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a symmetry. Um, so I'm, I'm going to mirror it over to the other side. So I'm gonna say, instead of mirroring in X, Z, which is the default, I'm gonna um, duplicate over Y, Z like this. And I'm going to also bring the center point like this and this curve over to the other side. So I'm gonna say duplicate mirror like this. I'm gonna bring everything over. Okay, so now, well, because I just duplicated it over, it's not uh, positioned correctly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab everything and position it over here. So let's just go to F6 to the side view. And I'm just going to center it over this line like that. Now, what you'll notice is because it's a wheel flat for the real, uh, rear wheel, um, the wheel position is a little bit different. So I'm gonna to have to do a little bit of adjustments. So I'm just gonna delete the curve and surface, um, actually. Right now, because I'm trying to keep the shape of the rear and the front, uh, front and the rear same, I think I'm just gonna delete the curve and surface here and I'm gonna use this as a new projecting plane. So I'm just gonna bring it up just a little. Oh, actually, uh, yeah. Let's bring up just a little like this. I think it fits uh, pretty well. Um, it's a little bit, the shape is a little bit out, uh, especially like right here, but I think it's close enough that we can just work with it. Okay, now, this, uh, now that we have this, I'm just going to project. Oh, uh, actually, before we continue, I'm just going to bring this because this is not exactly as the canvas. So I'm just going to project those curves. Right, I actually, I'm going to do the inside one first. Now you'll see that it's a little bit out right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do the rail again. So I'm going to say one rail, one and one, and change that mode to parallel. And I'm going to project the inside like this from the side view. And I'm going to try to adjust this um, so that it fits a rear uh, rear sketch. So I'm just going to move this up like that. Now the front one, I'm just going to hide it. So let me grab all these and put it in the default layer. And I'm going to hide the front and the wheel flat is going to go in that layer so that we don't have any interference. Now, let's check it from the rear view. So now I have the rear canvas up um, and you'll notice that it's, uh... okay, so let's check which one's which. So I'm just gonna put a curve here just to, so that it's an indication on where the wheel flat is. And it looks like we need to actually bring this a little bit more forward, uh, not forward, uh, a little bit sideways, uh, a little bit outward. Uh, so I'm just going to grab this curve and just bring it out. I think it's a little bit more stood up. So I'm just going to bring it out like this. I think that's a little bit too much. You don't want it to be too far out. You want to make sure that this uppermost, uh, the upper part is the most outward side. So I'm just going to grab this one again using a stretch and just bring it out so that this CV is never uh, always inboard of this curve. Okay, uh, let's see. I think this is pretty good. Uh, looks like the curve and surface is following this line well. Um, so I think I'm happy with that. 
Okay, from the side view, I think the side view, you know, it's pretty much uh, pretty close, so I'm okay with that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to do a fit curve. So same thing, six degree and two spans, like the origin that we projected and the one that we made in the front. So hopefully, because we are projecting the existing cur uh, existing wheel flat that we made, hopefully the shape will be also pretty close. Uh, it's a little bit off. <clears throat> but we can always adjust it. So um, I think, uh, let, actually, before we continue, let's check it from the top. It looks like from the top view, I think it's pretty close. So, well, at least it's closer than before. And I think, uh, yeah, I think this, I would say this is good enough. So what I'm gonna do is, let me actually just hide, uh, hide that. And I'm gonna to try to adjust the CV structure a little bit. So I'm just gonna bring these down just a little bit. And I'm gonna do a center pivot between the two and I'm just gonna scale it. And what I'm gonna do, try to do is actually, uh, let me just turn this one on. I'm gonna to try to match the shape a little bit, just a little bit. It doesn't have to be exact because it's a different set of wheel flats. But I just wanna make sure that it's a little bit closer. Okay, like that. Yeah. That's good. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I'm just gonna do a project. And I'm going to do a fit curve like this. And I'm gonna turn this one off because I'm just trying to match this one. So let me first start with this. So I'm just gonna do center pivot. Looks like it's taking a little bit of time. Okay, I'm just gonna non proportional scale like this and just bring it outboard like this. And I'm just gonna grab these two like that, and just bring it down just a bit. Maybe I just need to scale this just a little bit inboard. And it looks like it's pretty close. Yeah, I'm. I think I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, it very closely uh, follows the shape of the wheel flat. Um, I know it's a little bit spread apart in this one, uh, the outside uh, outside one. So I'm gonna have to check the image and see if it's actually spreading apart. Okay, so now that's done. Uh, I'm just gonna put this in the wheel flat layer because we don't need it anymore. And I'm just going to delete the construction history on this one. And I'm going to connect with skin. I'm gonna say click here and click here. And I'm gonna do a proportional crown just a little bit like that. And I'm also going to put the curve in here, real flat layer. And now the front one, let's bring that back. Let's bring this forward, default layer and wheel flat layer. I'm just gonna delete all everything, uh, the construction history because I, I'm happy with what I have. So you just wanna make sure that uh, nothing funky goes on when you have the history on. Okay, all right. So much faster than the front one. And we were able to get the wheel flats on both the front and the rear. Okay, so that's it for part three. Uh, we will continue building the vehicle in the next tutorial. And thank you guys for watching.